guys, um, I'm making this video in the bedroom currently because uh, the kids are downstairs and my boyfriend is watching TV which is really loud so I took the time to go upstairs and take a look in with me and make another video for you guys. Uh, someone asked me and I don't remember who it was, I'm so sorry, but I do remember the question. Someone asked me how to trim um, your owl's talons and your owl's beak. Yes, you've never been here, right? You've never been in the bedroom, so you're looking around, looking at what this room is. This is where all the magic happens. Bedroom. So here I am making another video for you guys. Um, so how to trim your bird's beak and talons? Well, first question we need to ask ourselves is, is it even necessary to do so? The answer to that question is, <laughs> it is depends on your bird. Some birds wear down, I don't know how to say it in English correctly, so I'm just saying wear down their talons uh, pretty naturally. Um, and if their beak isn't growing too much inwards and it's not hurting them, then it's not even necessary to trim the beak. There is one trick that I do uh, in order not to have to trim Luki's talons. And that is, um, from time to time, I give her mice and rats. And it seems to be that the flesh of rats and mice is way rougher or tougher. I don't know how to say this in English. Um, it seems to be that it's way tougher than the flesh of chicks. And I've noticed that whenever she has eaten rats or mice, her talons um, become extremely thin. It's like it's really weird, it's like there's a talon and inside the talon is a needle, a very thin needle and it seems to be that the outside um, layer of the talon wears off, it disappears and only the needle inside, the very thin sharp needle remains and that needle breaks off naturally after she has eaten uh, mice or rats. And yeah, so after she has eaten mice or rats, her talons become very, very thin and frail. They break off and after that, the job is done. I don't have to trim them. And apparently it works because she has never had cuts or wounds in her paws because of her long talons. So they are not too long. They just stay this length. Um, until I give her rats or mice and then her talons break off naturally. This is a really cool trick. I would recommend it to anyone who, who owns an owl. And for the beak, I would say um, it depends on the bird. I don't know if... Yeah, I know. I don't know if... Uh, focusing? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the flesh of rats and mice is rough or tough enough to break off the beak. I don't think this trick applies on the beak, but only on the talons. I do not want you to shit on my shoulder, so I'm going to take you off. I'm so sorry, but I would like to wear this shirt for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, if you don't know what to do with your owl, then just go to a vet that specializes in birds of prey and ask him or her. If the vet tells you that the talons and the beak need to be trimmed, then let your vet do it and ask him or her to teach you how. This is how I would do it. I've even considered paying a visit to the vet. I have never paid a visit before for Lucky because she has in the four years I have her, she has never gotten sick, um, she has never needed a vet, I'm so lucky. Um, so, but I, I've considered uh, paying a visit just to show you guys how to do it, because I have to be honest, I don't know how to do it. 
I know that there is a vein that runs through the talon and that you need to be careful not to cut the talon too far. Um, but I don't know how to uh, tell how far the vein goes or anything, so if I would make a video on this, I would go to the vet and film that. <laughs> So yeah, the only advice I can give you is to give your owl tougher meat from time to time, so like mice and rats, and just pay attention to their talons. If they're breaking off naturally, then you don't need to trim them. Um, if they don't, then just go to a falconer or your vet and they will show you how to do it. So now I'll try to film how her talons are breaking off naturally because I can still tell they are at the moment. Okay, stay for it. Let me see. This one here. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's focusing. Like, this is a needle sticking out and then here, this is like a little edge. Do you guys see? Like starting from here, starting from here is the needle, the thin needle coming out. And it's not that thin, it used to be thinner. But like here, her starting from here where my nail is, her talon starts to become thicker again. Do you see? And this needle breaks off very naturally. And this talon is alright. I think it's shorter actually than this talon. And here there isn't a needle sticking out. Let's see, watch the other talons. Here she has a needle sticking out as well. Do you see? Here it becomes thicker again. And then from my glove until here it's really thin. It's not as thin as it's usually after eating mice or rats. So I don't even call this needle thin. After she's eaten mice or rats it's, it's usually way way thinner really like a very very sharp and thin needle but you can still tell that um, not so long ago they broke off and with not so long ago I mean hmm, I would say four months ago so yeah guys I hope this video was clear and useful um, and I'll see you guys later Say bye! Say bye to the camera! Say bye! Bye Lucky! Bye!